Hey, how you doing? <laughs> it's Joe D here. I'm looking a little rough, but I was just making a quick screencast here. Um, just to, I got a question and I wrote this on the back of a piece of paper here. <laughs> but uh, someone wrote me and was wondering um, how to, uh, you know, if they bought an external drive, how they could get all their music from their current location in their computer. Uh, to the external drive um, and also their images uh, how they how they could store their images on an external drive so I'm gonna do my best to answer that it's last minute I haven't cleaned up or anything I'm looking rough so I'm just like in my sweatshirt here and stuff so just you know be patient with me <laughs> but in any case you'll um, go to your um, your iTunes and this is the way uh, Apple recommends to do it now the, the way I did it was uh, when I first got my external drive and I really didn't know how I just I just kind of um, went to my external drive here made a, a music folder in my drive um, and just drag and dropped all my let me see let me go here to the, this these locations are actually on my computer so uh, I went to where is it at here it is I went to this location that's in my computer and took the iTunes music right here uh, is it here yeah took that iTunes music and basically just drag and dropped it into here and lost everything had to start all over again with my ratings and all those little things um, that don't that don't go with the music um, <coughs> so that kinda sucked and then I was kinda proud of the like the dates that I had added music you know to kinda see when I added this song or that song or when I initially got it and all this and that or when it came out and stuff anyway but that's the way I did it. Now the way iTunes, uh, Apple recommends that you do it is to first go here in your iTunes and go to preferences. Now if you're using a PC I am not sure how this is exactly gonna go because I just followed this from the Apple website. But they want you to change what you already seen me uh, do here. They want you to change um, your music location here. So you click this change tab right here. That'll give you this little window and then you can click wherever you'd like your music to go. As you can see I've already got mine selected so it, it and then I have it to where's um, iTunes I have it keep my iTunes music folder organized so it keeps that music even though it's an ex on an external drive it still keeps it organized. Uh, typically I do have this clicked as well and I do, I do have that checked because normally I want New music that I add, uh, whether I'm whether I ripped a CD or something like that, I want that music to be copied right to um, my iTunes uh, folder uh, on my external drive. So I normally do have that, but uh, recently I was putting some more movies in here, and uh, I didn't want uh, those moved. So I, I unclick that when I don't want something moved or copied. I mean. And when I do want something copied, then I click it. I'll actually go through all that trouble. <laughs> For now, I'll leave that like this because I guess that's the way some people like to have it. So once you do this part, okay, and that's in the preferences, in the advanced tab of the preferences, then they want you to go back to the file tab that's up here on top of your iTunes there and go to your library and go to consolidate library once you click that it's gonna give you another little pop-up menu um, and I'm gonna try to show you from let's see right from and by the way this is the new um, what do you call it the new um, Safari 4 beta uh, so far I kinda like it you can see the way the tabs are up here and stuff but in any case um, it says right here so once you do that it'll say a message will appear saying consolidate your library consolidating your library uh, will copy all of your music 
to into the new into the the iTunes music folder this cannot be undone right so you click consolidate and then it says uh, important this action copies all of your music and the media files to new location there must be enough hard disk, disk space uh, available to copy all your music and media files right after the folder has been copied locate your original iTunes music folder and drag it to the trash or recycle bin okay and that's that's that right uh, and this is straight from uh, the Apple support uh, website here okay so um, that's the way Apple recommends that you do that okay and um, and you know you know maybe you should uh, give that a shot um, and as far as the let me um, as far as the uh, where am I at with here's my Lightroom this is I use Lightroom Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 2 to organize all my photos this is a shoot that I did with my daughter when she was here for the weekend and um, yeah, some of these came out okay um, she loves to be like a little model but in any case uh, I, I have two drives that I use for all these images because some of these can get pretty darn big um, where's that image I was working on earlier I was working on this one earlier um, Oof. There we go. Um, yeah, I was working on this one. That's the one I use for my desktop right now. But uh, you can, you know, you 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 pre-select uh, whenever you have a your software like this. You just point it every time you uh, import photos. Point you point it to where you want it to the photos to be copied. So. Uh, I don't think that's as much of a, not as difficult to do. As far as the iPhoto images, though, if you were interested in that, uh, when I do finish working on these, like like you saw the uh, my background image, um, my background image is uh, let, me, let me see. That's the one that I was working on. It's still like a work in progress, but see, that's the one I was working on. Um, I, I export that to um, uh, what you call it. The um, <laughs> once I'm done working on my raw images, then I'll usually export them so that I can send them to uh, like if I shoot kids, then I'll sh you know uh, export JPEGs, pretty large JPEGs, but uh, JPEGs. There, nonetheless, I'll export all those to my iPhoto, and then I'll. It's just easier for me to send. Because all my email and everything's it, it syncs real perfectly with my email and stuff, so that's the way I do that. So I, I usually have like two catalogs of uh, photos going. Uh, one's of course the original raw images, and then one's the uh, JPEGs. Um, and iPhoto, I've heard all kinds of nightmares about moving your iPhoto uh, library to an external drive. So I just don't do it. Um, one thing that I do need, I, I don't, I have all my images uh, in the JPEG form since they are a lot smaller. Um, they, I just don't have, seem to have a problem uh, with uh, storing those on my, on my computer's hard drive. So that's what I do. I, I don't have my JPEGs on my um, external. Uh, but one thing I do need to tell you about having your uh, photos. I mean your music on the external drive like that is to make sure it's plugged in make sure it's plugged in make sure it's on when you open your iTunes otherwise uh, let me show you here otherwise uh, you'll 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 get like a little ex exclamation mark here uh, when it can't find it and you'll get that all over the place so you don't you don't want to uh, do that um but uh that's the cover